I made a video some time ago about how to manage your startup channel. In this particular video, I want to go over a few uh, new navigation features of Spectrum. Some are not new, some are just in a different position, but uh, I want to go over that. But the main thing I want to do is show you how to resolve an issue that you might be having with the startup channel. <clears throat> and he said this area, uh, we're having it, and I figured out how to uh, fix that. So I'm going to click on the Spectrum app here and tell you ahead of time that I have it set. I have my startup channel set to the tennis channel. So I'm going to click on this, and it doesn't give me the uh, tennis channel. If I hit the navigation arrow to the right, the middle of the uh, Roku remote. You can see I'm on channel 86, which is the Longhorn channel. And then I want to show you, if I go click out of this, hit the back arrow, then click this again, back arrow again. And you can see at the top, let me see if you can have it set. At the top you see in the menu Home, Live TV, Guide, my library, on demand, video store, and then on the far right, I mean, it's, it's gone now, let me put it back. On the far right, you see the uh, search icon, and then the next one over there looks like a little star or gear. That's the settings, and then the far right, again, kick it again, it's gone. On the far right, there's a box with an arrow going at a 45, 45 degree angle. That's the exit. I'm going to look at settings first here. So here I am in settings. Click on it. And this is where you go when you want to do change your guide sorting. I have a two channel number. Clear your watch list. Clear view and history and bookmarks. And then the next one is startup channel. And it's on right now. You can click on that. If you don't want it on, it's off there. So that means that whenever you uh, exit the uh, spectrum and then come back to it, it'll just take you to whatever channel you were watching previously. Now I'm going to keep this on, click on it, and you can see here that I have it set, Manage Startup Channel, I have it set to the Tennis Channel. So if I want to change that, I can click on it, and then it'll give me the options to put it on uh, whatever channel you want. But you can see right now I have it on the tennis channel. Let me click the back arrow. So here's what we do. I've talked about the guide, how to create my, uh, how to put some movies or content on my library on demand. I've got over that. Video store, of course you can uh, rent or buy videos, content. And then this is your home. I'll talk about that a little bit later on. But let me go back over here to the far right. If you want your startup channel to work, instead of just hitting home on the remote, your remote, click this icon here. Okay, so it takes me to the home grid here. So let me go back to Spectrum now. It should go to the tennis channel now. And there we have it, Tennis Channel. And you can click on Live TV to get out of this. So let me do this again now. If I click the Home button on the Roku remote, go back to Spectrum. Notice here, of course, it works because I was on the, <laughs> the, uh, on the tennis channel. But let's do this. Let me, go some, let me go to another channel. There it is. So I'm going to click the home button again in the remote, Roku remote, and go back to the spectrum. And again, Check what channel I'm on over here. Go to the right, mini guide. 
and you can see I'm not on the tennis channel. Tennis channel is 406 and I'm on channel 417 action stations. So again, if you want your starter channel to work regardless of what what the last channel was that you were watching, then hit the back arrow again here. Again, there it is on top, there's the menu. So when I exit this way, all the way to the right, there's a little box there with the arrow. Hit and hit OK. Takes you back to the home grid here. So back to Spectrum. I'm probably going to be doing this, but just want to make sure you can see what I'm doing. And this is the tennis channel here. So that's the way that's the way it works if you're having issues. And I had noticed that before, and I noticed that sometimes it would be the uh, the correct channel, but most of the time it, it wouldn't work. And then I started looking at this menu. This this menu here is kind of new, the way it's set up. It used to be you'd go to a different uh, page or location but now you see it right there in front on top there home live tv guide my library on demand video store and on the right you have the search you can search for movies the next one is the settings and then on the far right you have the exit now i do want to point out this new thing in this home screen here it tells you what channel you're on and then it gives you recent channels that you've been watching. You can see some of the ones I've been watching. You can easily access previous content without searching for it. You got a favorites list, then of course you can go to that also. And then you got this category here, trending live. Then one of my favorites is this live sports. There's not too much going on today. But any live sports that uh, Spectrum is uh, streaming will be here, whether it's football, basketball, soccer, you can click on it. And, then, and if you're watching any uh, series, Spe Spectrum Originals or whatever, it'll have a continue watching list here also when you come here and click on it. So this home here is something that's new. Live TV takes me back to the uh, original channel. There you have it. If you have any issues with uh, the startup channel not working, make sure, for number one, that you have it on. And then number two, if you want it to work when you come back to Spectrum, exit the way I did it here, and it'll work. I won't say every time, but 99.9% .9 of the time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.